What's up guys, Timon here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about 10 cities you need to visit before you die in Europe. Well, you can die wherever you want, but 10 cities in Europe you need to die. 10 cities in Europe you need to visit before you die. First up we've got London, which has a population of 8.5 million people. Between 1900 and 1925 it's been the most crowded city in the world and today it's the world's most visited city by tourists. There are 18 million tourists coming every year to see the amazing sights like Big Ben, Tower Bridge, Houses of Parliament and many more. What I like most about, about London is the Chinatown. You should really check it out if you got the chance. Um, there are many little shops to explore and lots of interesting corners to see. Next up we've got Dubrovnik in Croatia. It's located near the coast on the western side of Croatia and it's got 42,000 inhabitants. I'm quite sure you weren't expecting me to name the city in this best of selection but um, I guarantee you it's one of the nicest cities in Europe and really special. It's surrounded by its medieval town walls where you can still walk around and get great views. Of course, not to be missed, it's Paris, Paris, the capital of France, the city of love, um, with 2.2 million inhabitants. Such a pretty city, you really, you just have to see it if you're in Europe. For me it also represents Europe in a way, if you know what I mean. It's got um, several districts, in fact 20 districts, and they call it arrondissement. And in the, just in the middle of the city you've got the Louvre, which, fun fact for you there, took 666 years to be built. Of course, you've got also the other sides like the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, Sacre Coeur, so much to see in this French city. Edinburgh, or Edinburgh, however you want to call it, is the capital of Scotland, but surprisingly not the largest of Scotland, uh, the largest is Glasgow. What's really special about Edinburgh is its old town. It connects the Scottish Parliament with the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Castle and this old town is called the Royal Mile. Also the old town is just set on a hill. It's really beautiful. What I like most about Edinburgh is the hill just outside of the city. It's called Holyrood Park. You just get amazing views and I definitely recommend having a climb just before sunset to see the city and the sea on the other side. Here's one of my favorites, it's Berlin, the capital of Germany. Actually this was one of the first cities I've visited abroad and as soon as I got there I just fell in love with it. There's so many things to do and there's so much history. Of course Berlin was divided after World War II by the Berlin Wall and pieces of that wall still remain standing to be seen by tourists or the inhabitants of course. There are 1700 bridges in Berlin which means that there are more bridges in Berlin than there are in Venice. Fun fact for you there. Kotor is getting more and more attention so get there before everyone else is going. It's a small coastal town in Montenegro quite easy to get to from the capital. Kotor is also famous for its cats. It's actually called City of Cats, so make sure you pet some of them while you're there. Lucerne is in the middle of Switzerland. It's my hometown, it's where I grew up. This might not be the most pretty city in Europe, but what's really special about it is the setting. So the city is perfectly surrounding a lake which is called Lake Lucerne and in the background you've got all these mountains hugging the city from behind. It's really pretty. Amsterdam, Amsterdam. 
the capital of the Netherlands. Amsterdam is really famous for their little canals. They call them Grachten and they're literally everywhere. It's a beautiful city to just walk around or rent a bike and enjoy your day. There aren't too many sights to see as such, many museums, but it's mainly just about walking around and enjoying the special atmosphere this city creates. One thing that I like most about Amsterdam is the swing at the lookout tower that I did last year. So this is just a, you would say a normal swing. But of course you're attached, but you're literally swinging over the top of a skyscraper and it's, it can be really scary for people that are afraid of heights but I would definitely recommend doing it if you get amazing views over the city and the canals. Former Constantinople, now called Istanbul, is a city in Turkey. It's not the capital, the capital is Ankara, but Istanbul is definitely the cultural capital of Turkey. There are 2,600 years of history in Istanbul and there are 14.3 million people living in this city, which makes it the fifth most crowded city worldwide. Of course, what's really special about Istanbul is that it's divided in two parts. There's the European part and there's also the Asian part. So you can just get a ferry or walk over a bridge to the other continent, which makes it really special. Although there are many different religions in Istanbul, Islam is definitely the most popular one which makes it really interesting for tourists to see another side of European cul culture that's quite rare. And lastly we've got Rome, the capital of Italy. This is not really one of my favorites, but it's still undeniably beautiful. Again, there's so much history there, I don't even want to get started. There are lots of things to see in Rome, like the Colosseum, uh, St. Peter's Basilica, or also the Trevi Fountains and what's really interesting about the Trevi Fountains is that all the tourists throw coins in the water um, as, a, as a tradition and the workers in the evening well they, they fish all the money out and at the end of the day they've got around 3000 euros that they are donating to charity. That's it, these were my 10 cities in Europe you need to see before you die. I hope you all get to see them and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! L is for the way you look at me O is for the only one